we can keep him like this for a few days, maybe a week. Call ahead. Tell him we're on our way. As soon as we're clear. Desmond Miles. Your life has changed so much in so little time. Two months ago, you were pouring shots for bankers and celebrities. But now look at you. You're an assassin. One of us. One of the good guys. Isn't that nice? Men and women dedicated to protecting and preserving human life and liberty. Not like those Templars. Cold and calculating autocrats, drunk on power, obsessed with order, all that. We're doing our best to stop them. <laughs> yeah. Doing our best. <laughs> but you remember all this, right? You remember the Animus, the machine we used to unravel genetic memories and relive the lives of our ancestors? First, you were Altair, a stoic 12th century assassin from the Holy Land. Then, you are Ezio Auditore, a wealthy Italian with charisma and a talent for revenge. So, what do you three have in common? That's right, the Apple of Eden. <laughs> That strange artifact left behind by those people. The ones who came before. You know the apple's power. You felt it for yourself. <laughs> oh, it's been fun, hasn't it, Desmond? But that's about to change. Your mind is fragmented and falling to pieces. And if you don't find a way to wake up, you may lose yourself forever. Okay, I shut down the Animus monitoring system to free up a lot of memory, but even like this, it's still risky. Desmond will be fine. The partition worked, the Animus is stable, and his signs are good. For now. But this was built to recreate memories, not simulate entire cognitive processes. The Animus will do its part, and Desmond will do the rest. What's happening? I can't, I can't move. I, I can't. No. What a shock you suffered out there. Rebecca! Get me out of here. They can't help you, Desmond. You're a broken man. Your mind is... broken. Broken. I feel fine. So did I. Hey. <laughs> Look at me now! Let's talk, buddy. There. That thing is your way out. You're screwing with me. Here's the problem. Your brain is hash. Too many ghosts in your head, too many voices. So how do you fix that? You claw your way back into the stored data. You find unfinished memories and you crack them open. Finish what you started until your ancestor has nothing left to show you. That is a sync nexus. And when you find it, the Animus can separate Desmond from Mitzio and Altair and send you home. Back to your body. How do you know all this? Because it happened to me. But my body, it's worth food now. So I'm stuck here. A, a word of warning? When you step through there, everything changes. Nothing feels normal. But you are still in control, and it's up to you to find your way out. Right. If you hurry, you might make it back in time for Lucy's funeral. What? Ah! Oh. I thought you knew. Lucy. God. I'm so sorry. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was that voice. Juno. She 
took hold of me. She made me. Sister, I have been in Acre a week now, safe and in high spirits, but prepared for the worst. The men and women who have fed and sheltered me here also give me warning that the road to Masyaf is overrun by mercenaries and bandits, not native to this land. What this could mean, I dread to guess. When I first set out from Roma ten months ago, I did so with a single purpose, to discover what our father did not. In a letter written the year before my birth, he makes mention of a library hidden beneath the stones of Masyaf Castle. A sanctum full of invaluable wisdom. So what will I find when I arrive there? Who will greet me? A host of eager Templars, as I fear most strongly. Or nothing but the whistling of a cold and lonely wind. Masyaf has not been home to the Assassins for almost 300 years now. Can we still claim it for our own? Are we welcome there? Ah, I am wary of this fight, Claudia. Not because I am tired, but because our struggle seems to move in one direction only. Towards chaos. Today, I have more questions than answers. This is why I've come so far. To find clarity. To find the wisdom left behind by the great Altair. So that I may better understand the purpose of our fight. And my place in it. Should anything happen to me, Claudia? Should my skills fail me? Or my ambition lead me astray? Do not seek retribution or revenge in my memory, but fight to continue the search for truth, so that all may benefit. My story is one of many thousands, and the world will not suffer if it ends too soon. Into the canyon. Be 
see that you are every bit as deadly as the legends say? Or am I in charge of an army of drunks swinging sticks? Right this way, Ezio. Nowhere left to run now! Not for me, and not for you. Kill that dog! Cut him down! Don't you ever stop howling. Still has a bite. The book you carry, where is it? Ah, Nicolo Polo's journal. This will do you no good. Not now. We have found one of the Masyaf keys already, and are closing in on the rest. What is in that library is not for you, not for the Templars. Ah, you can have Altair's books, Ezio. We only want guidance. We only want directions. To the location of the Grand Temple. <sighs> Grand Temple? Tell me more, now! Requiescat in pace, bastardo. located you would pulled you back here it's just following orders like a, a fail-safe program trying to keep your poor head intact whether you like it or not what are you doing here exactly playing learning waiting a lot of waiting I keep the animus distracted as best I can for you, so you can explore. Otherwise, it might hunt you down like a little virus and, uh, delete you. Well, my guardian angel. There's no such thing. Yeah, I... Thanks. Dear sister, Mazyov is overrun by a battery of Templars, and their motive is clear. They desire the secrets locked away in Altair's library, Secrets they believe will lead them to something called the Grand Temple. Whether or not this is true, I do know the library is real. I have seen its door for myself. But none can enter. Not without five keys which were sent to Constantinople with Niccolo Polo almost 300 years ago. Claudia, I must find these keys. The Templars have already located one. And I do not know how difficult it will be to find the others. Only time, skill, and a bit of luck will tell. A magnificent sight. It is a work in progress. No city in Europa has a skyline quite like this. Well, to be precise, that is Europa. That is Asia. Ah. Some borders even the Ottomans cannot move. Very few. You are Italian by the sound of it. But your outfit is not. Have you been traveling long? Si. A molto tempo. I left Rome much 12 months ago, looking for... Inspiration. And that search brought me here. When I was a child, my father told me stories about the fall of Constantinople. You must mean the conquest of Constantinople. I suppose the moral of any story matches the temper of the man telling it. That we can agree on. Guzel! Constantinople is a city for all kinds and creeds. Students like me or... Uh, Travelers, such as yourself. I have so much work to return to. But it is good to be home. Work? When I was your age, 
My interests were... were mainly... Salve. Incredible. I am surprised you got anything done. As was my mother. It was a pleasure speaking with you, Beyefendi. I hope you find something to hold your interest in. I have faith I will. Yardim at the Belir Mim, Fendi. Grazie, dear boy. A scholar and a gentleman. You are full of surprises. <laughs> Very few, my friend. Exceed all mine. Hosh Galdin Kardashian. Unless the legend is a lie, you are the man I long to meet. Renowned master and mentor. It's your auditori, the la la la. Franco. Uh, forgive me. I have a hard time remembering that Italian gibberish. Da Firenze. The city where I was born. Ah, yes. Uh, so, by your custom, I would be Yusuf Tazim da Istanbul. I like that. Istanbul. Yet another name for this city. Evet. It's a local favorite. Uh, come, mentor da Firenze. I will show you around. Between the Templars and the Ottomans, you must stay busy. Ezio, I barely have time to polish my blade. No, no. Watch. Byzantium is dead! As are you! Mentor, say hello to your extended family. Salute a voi, Assassini. It is an honor to find such fast friends so far from home. You see, brothers? Our mentor is not afraid to weep openly in front of pupils. Do not worry. I will not make a habit out of it. Ezio and I were ambushed on the way here. I'd like some of you to do a sweep of the area. Hey, man! And you, Ezio. Your weapons and armor are in a pitiful state. Maybe find some money and repair what you can. There is a blacksmith nearby. He's a friend. Buona idea. Praise the heavens! We feared we had lost our mentor to the vices of the big city. I am content with my own vices, grazie. So, what's on your mind, Ezio? Tell me more about the Templars. You call them Byzantines, but the Byzantine Empire was overthrown 60 years ago. These men are remnants of a line loyal to the cause of the last Emperor, Constantine XI. Who leads them now, however? I cannot say. Capisco. I suppose it is up to me to find out. It's you. Where is your hook blade? My hook blade? You've never seen one? I grew up using these. Hmm. Show me how it works. Watch and learn, Ezio. We call this a hook and run. Sprint at your opponent, and just as you reach him, use the hook blade to slip by. I am impressed, Yusuf. My brothers in Roma would like this. Just give credit where it is due. Yusuf, Chabuk Buri again! Uh, huh? An attack on two fronts, Galata and the Grand Bazaar. Every day, the same bad news. How is your appetite for swordplay? I do what I must. This is another of our many dens, taken by Templars, as you can see. Somewhere among this rabble is a Templar captain. Kill him, then climb the tower and light their signal fire. This warns the Templars that it is time to pack up and go. Bene, you create a distraction. I will send them home. Desmond, think about this. What if I went with you? With me? Where? 
It could work. Just for a while. Until I found a way out. Another body, maybe, or a... I don't know. I just... I don't want to be here anymore. That's... That's not going to happen. Sorry. No. <laughs> yeah, I guess I had my chance. <laughs> and I wasted it. Claudia. Constantinopoli, called Istanbul by the Turks, has welcomed me as one of its own. The assassins here, led by an affable fighter named Yusuf, take great pride in their city. A place as diverse and colorful as one could imagine. But it is a troubled city, too. A rebellious faction of Byzantine Templars still fights to retain influence. And their recent attacks have delayed my search for the Masyaf Keys. But this will not last. As soon as I am able, I will begin looking for Nicolo Polo's former trading post. In search of clues that will bring me nearer to the Masyaf Keys. Buongiorno, Merava. Please come in. Oh, excuse the clutter. I have not had time to tidy up since my trip. You sailed from Rhodes, no? See, si. how did you know? We were on the same ship. I am Ezio Auditore. Sofia Sartor. Have we met? We have now. May I have a look around? Prego. Most of my best tomes are in the back. Have you found anything interesting? Mio Dio! Who put that there? Incredibile. Where does it lead? Why don't we find out? Who are you, Messere? Only the most interesting man in your life. Ah, oh, che presuntuoso. A presto, Sofia. I will return in a moment. Ezio, that took some time. What did you find? Something that may interest you. Mio Dio, che meraviglia! And here is my shop. Look at the margins. Strange symbols. And these are titles of books. Rare books. A few of these have not been seen for more than a millennium. Nicolo Polo hid these books around the city. This map should tell us where. Hmm. You're beginning to interest me. Vaguely. From what I can tell, I need to find these three books first. They may contain clues to locate the rest of these. Molto curioso. Another was found beneath Topkapa Palace, but there is still time to reach the others. Found by whom? Men who do not read. Sophia, can you decipher this map? Help me find these books. Can I borrow them when you are finished? We will work something out. Yusuf, salute. Piri told me I might see you here. Did you find what you were looking for? I believe so. This is one of Altair's five keys. A strange artifact. Ah, it is like nothing I have ever seen. We should keep it somewhere safe. At our headquarters, see. I will. The markings on this key are familiar. And the material... I have seen its kind before. Just like the Apple of Eden. Ancient technology from the first civilization.
Are you hurt? Mm. Broken foot. What is your name, brother? Altair, son of Umar. Umar? Oh, yes. He was a fine man who lived as he died. With honor. Altair, we have been betrayed. The enemy has overrun the castle. You live. And Al Mualim, where is he? He was inside when the Crusaders broke through. We can do nothing for him now. Altair, we must fall back. When I close the castle gate, flank the Crusaders in the village and drive them into the canyon. You don't stand a chance! Abbas, no mistakes. You offered him a chance to salvage his dignity. Why? No man should pass from this world without knowing some kindness. But he shunned your graces, as was his right. Altair, I have watched you grow from a boy to a man in so short a time. It fills me with as much sadness as pride. You fit your father's shoes as if they had been tailored to your feet. I did not know him well as a father. He was an assassin, above all. You too were born into this order. Do you regret it? How can I regret the only life I've ever known? You may find a way in time. And it will be up to you to choose the path you prefer. Come, my boy. And ready your blade. This battle is not yet won. Ah. So they contain recorded memories, these keys. These ancient seals. But what is Altair trying to tell us, I wonder? What does he want the future to know? Or to learn? Claudia, I am now in possession of one of the Masyaf keys. And better still, I have discovered a map, encoded with signs and symbols, which I believe will lead me to the remaining keys. Its full meaning is a mystery to me. But I am thankful to have met a Venetian woman willing to help me decipher it. I must not overstate my successes. The Templars still hold one key hostage. And if I am to recover it, I may need more help than the Assassins can provide. If I can make a friend in the Ottoman court, my access to the secrets of this city will improve greatly. A pleasant surprise, Ezio. We should trade stories if I'm not dead by this time tomorrow. Is there a chance of that? We learn that the Byzantines are planning to infiltrate Topkapı Palace now that Prince Suleiman has returned from his Hajj. If they do strike, it will be tonight at a cultural exposition the Prince has organized. So what is our plan? Kardeshim, this is not your fight. No need to snare yourself in the Ottoman affairs. The Byzantines found a key beneath Topkapa Palace, and I would like to know how. Ezio, we want to protect our Shehezade. Not interrogate him. Trust me, Yusuf. Just tell me where to go. Topkapa's main gate. We plan to dress as entertainers and walk right in. I will find the disguise and meet you there. I look ridiculous. I feel ridiculous. My blade is too conspicuous in this outfit. Are you armed? That's a deal. You mark the targets, and we will take them out. You, uh, know how to play that thing? I learned a few chords when I was young. When were you ever young? Now this is a celebration. Suleiman, the Sultan's grandson and governor of Kefe. And he's only 17. We met on the ship. He told me he was a student. And who is that? His uncle, Shehezade Ahmed. The Sultan's favorite son. He is grooming himself for the Sultanate as we speak. Sherefe! Salon is up. Come, we have more Byzantines to find. Do we catch you? Do we catch you? Clear the courtyard! Says Ade Suleiman, take cover! Follow them! 
Ezio! It is a relief to see you again, mio bel menestrello. Did I say that right? Well enough. I hear you are a governor, too. Is there anything you do not do? I do not talk to strangers. I am Suleiman. Ezio Auditore. Shazadem, are you injured? Who is your captain soldier? Tarot Balete. He is away on an errand. Clear this body and send the guests home. Then summon Tariq to the Divan. Bashus to Nesh, as Adem. Tariq Barlete is a captain in the Janissary Corps. The Sultan's elite soldiery. They guard the Sultan, but not his family. Not very well, evidently. Ezio, do you have some time to spare? I would like your opinion on something. I will, once I change out of these rags. Guzel, meet me when you are ready. I have arranged a meeting with my uncle Ahmed and the Janissary captain, Tariq Barlateh. The Janissaries are loyal to my grandfather, but they have lately become angry over his choice of the next Sultan. Your uncle? Exactly. The Janissaries prefer my father, Selim. You are in a tough spot. But how do the Byzantines fit into this? I had hoped you might know. Would you be willing to help me find out? I am tracking them myself. I can help you, as long as our interests run parallel. I will take what I can get. There is a hatch at the top of that tower which leads to a secret room. Go there, wait, and watch. Heed my nephew, Tarek. Your incompetence borders on treason. And to think that today, your Janissaries were outshone by an Italian loot player. Preposterous. An inexcusable failing, Effendim. I will conduct a full investigation. I will conduct the investigation, Tarek. For reasons that should be obvious. Evet, Shezadem. You have your father's wisdom. And his impatience. Uncle, I am relieved to see you safe. Likewise, Suleiman. Allah emanet olam. Tarek Bey. A word. What was the purpose of this attack, I wonder? To make me look weak? An ineffective steward of the city? If you are the hand in this mess, Tarek, you have made a grave mistake. My father has chosen me as the next Sultan, not my brother. Ahmed, I am not depraved enough to imagine the conspiracy you accuse me of. What have I done to earn such contempt from the Janissaries? What has my brother done for you that I have not? May I speak freely? You'd better. You are weak, Ahmed. Pensive in times of war and restless in times of peace. You lack passion for the traditions of the Ghazi, yet you speak of fraternity in the company of infidels. You make a decent philosopher, Ahmed, but you will be a poor Sultan. You may show yourself out. Quite a family, hmm. Your uncle lacks sway over the men he will soon command. Tariq is a hard man. Proud and capable, but ambitious. And he admires my father greatly. But he failed to secure this palace against the Byzantine invasion. That alone is worth our attention. Precisely. Where should we begin? For now, keep an eye on Tariq and his Janissaries. They spend much of their free time in and around the bazaar. I will start there when I can. The strings of fate have drawn us together. Two Italiani, lost and alone in the Orient. Do you not feel the... magnetismo? I feel many things, Messere. Nausea above all. Is this man bothering you, Sofia? Excuse me, Messere. But the lady and I are... Oh! Oh! Il diavolo in persona! Stay back! Duccio. A pleasure. Run, buona donna! Run for your life! Who was that? Nkane. He was engaged to my sister many years ago. And what happened? His cazzo was engaged to six others. Yedovenia. So what brings you to these dogs? 
I took a break from my work to retrieve a package, but here they claim the captain's papers are not in order, so I wait. Che seccatura. I could be here all day. Let me see what I can do. I know a few ways to bend the rules. Do you now? Si. I will meet you back at your shop. Salute Ezio. Any luck? Mademigella Sofia Sartor, Libraia, Constantinopoli. Oh no, look at the damage. Did they use this to fight off pirates? Well, so far so good. Ah, beautiful, no? This is a print of a map by Martin Walze Müller. See here? The new lands, described by Messer Amerigo Vespucci. Poor Cristoforo Colombo. History has a strange way of unfolding. What do you make of this body of water here? A new ocean, perhaps. Most of the scholars I know claim the size of the globe has been underestimated. <laughs> Incredibile. The more we learn about the world, the less we seem to know. Well, you honored your promise. Here is mine fulfilled. If we are correct, this should show you the location of the first book. I must admit, my head is swimming with the prospect of seeing these books. This is knowledge the world has lost, and must have again. Perhaps I could print a few copies to distribute myself. Or a small run of 50 or so, that should be enough. <laughs> Perché ridi? Forgive me. It is a joy to see someone with a passion so personal and noble. It is inspiring. Goodness, where is this coming from? Grazie, Sofia. I will return. Fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Forgive me for this, Mentor. But the apple corrupted you, and through you it would have corrupted us. For us to live, you had to die. Is it truly over? Is that sorcerer dead? He was no sorcerer, just an ordinary man in command of illusions. Have you prepared the pyre? I have, but... Altair, some of the men will not stand for such a thing. Let me handle it. What has happened here? Our mentor deceived us all. The Templars corrupted him. Where is your proof? Walk with me, Abbas, and I will explain. And if I find your answers wanting? I will talk until you are satisfied. must know that he cannot return. But this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Defiler! Hear me out. This body could be another one of Al-Mulim's phantoms. I must be certain. Lies! All your life, you have made a mockery of our creed. You bend the rules to suit your whims, while belittling and humiliating those around you. Restrain him! Did you not hear him? Al Mualim is bewitched. Ah! Ooh. Abbas, stop! What did you think would happen when you murdered our beloved mentor? You loved Al Mualim less than anyone. You blamed him for all your misfortune, even your father's suicide. My father was a hero. 
This is not the time to quarrel over the past. We must decide what to do with that weapon. Whatever this artifact is capable of, you are not worthy to wield it. No man is. Oh, it is beautiful, is it not? What was that? Are they dead? Forgive me. I did not know. Have you anything to teach us? Or would you lead us all to ruin? Altair. Barely 26, and already a Grand Master in command of a divided order. How does one cope with such responsibility... ...and unlimited power? I have made the acquaintance of an Ottoman prince named Suleiman. He's a clever young man, with a fortitude uncommon for his age. On his suggestion, I will be investigating some wayward Janissaries... ...who may be in league with the Templars. With luck, they will lead me straight to the core of the Templar's leadership. Meanwhile, the Venetian Sophia Sartor continues to help me find the hidden Maziav keys. She is a diligent woman, full of passion and vigor, and I enjoy her company immensely. But I dare not tell her the purpose of my stay here, nor of my true vocation. Those who do not volunteer in our struggle should not be forced to fight it. Salute! I am closing in on two more books. One near Topkapa, and the other in the Bayezid district. Bayezid first. Topkapa will be a dead end. Ah, see. Si. What do you make of this? Oh, Ezio. Incredibile! Early Coptic bindings, still in good shape. Amazing. This must be a third century transcription of the original. Sophia, what happened here? Oh, that happens once or twice a year. People break in thinking they will find money. I do not keep much here, but this time they made off with a portrait of some value. It is a shame. You keep working. I will find your painting. Ezio, the thief could be anywhere by now. If the thief came for money, but took a painting, he should be close by, eager to get rid of it. Well, if you happen to find it within the next few hours, meet me by the aqueduct. I will be running errands. It is a good likeness, don't you think? I prefer the original. <laughs> Buffone. This was a gift from my father for my 28th birthday. I had to sit for Messer Albrecht Durer for a full week. Can you imagine me sitting still for seven days doing nothing? I cannot. Una tortura. <laughs> so, I found you another book location. And it is not far from here, actually. Grazie. Ezio. What is this all about? You are not a scholar, that much is clear. Do you work for the church? <laughs> not the church, no. But I am a teacher, of a kind. I will explain one day, Sophia, when I can. The Templars have retaken their archive on Cyprus. Abbas sent no reinforcements. It was a massacre. Oh my god. Maria, when we left myself ten years ago, this order was strong. But all that progress has been undone. 
Abbas must answer for this. Answer to whom? The assassins obey only his command now. Resist your desire for revenge, Altair. Speak truth and they will see their error. He executed our youngest son, Maria. He deserves to die. Perhaps. But if you cannot win back the Order by honorable means, its foundation will crumble. You are right. Thirty years ago, I let Ashen overtake my reason. And it caused a rift that has never fully healed. Let them speak. We seek the truth about our son's death. Why was Seth killed? Is it the truth you want? Or an excuse for revenge? If the truth gives us an excuse, we will act on it. Surrender the apple, Altair, and I will tell you why your son was put to death. Ah, the truth is out already. Abbas wants the apple for himself, not to open your minds, but to control them. You have held that artifact for 30 years, Altair, reveling in its power and hoarding its secrets. It has corrupted you. Very well, Abbas. Take it. What? Before I executed your son, I told him you ordered it yourself. He died, believing you had betrayed him. I got your message. What has happened? That him! Turn back! Have they all gone mad? We have to go. Abbas must not get his hands on the apple. Was it Abbas who killed my brother? I will have the apple, Altair! And I will have your head for all the dishonor he brought upon my family! You cannot run forever! Not from us! And not from your lies! Excellent news, Claudia. I now have a name. Manuel Paleologos. Nephew of the deposed Byzantine Emperor Constantine. I have few doubts that he is the man leading the Templars. My task now is to interrogate a traitorous Janissary named Tarek Barletti and find the location of the Templars' army. Until then, Sophia and I will continue our search for the one key that remains hidden. With every passing moment, I know my chances grow slimmer. And yet I cannot help but linger some days to stay an extra hour with her. To hear her voice and watch her face animate with joy as she speaks of the things that move her. Her books, her city, her memories. I cannot help but think what a shame it will be when I find the final key. Cypher. And finally, everything is falling into place. When the Paleo Logos line is restored, Manuel, do not forget who helped you bring it back. Of course not, my friend. I would not dream of betraying a man of your influence. But you must be patient. Nova Roma wasn't built in a day. I'm satisfied. Take me to my ship. If a single one is damaged, the money stays with me. Merda. That's not a legal move. It is a European variation. Arocco. It's interesting. But not exactly fair when you play by different rules than your opponent. You may think differently when you are Sultan. Shall I take it back? 
Suleiman, I know it has been hard on you watching your father and me quarrel over Beazit's throne. Grandfather has chosen you, and his word is common. What is there to argue about? Your father and I were close once, but his cruelty and ambition have made... I have heard the rumors, uncle. Well, I have a meeting with the vizier soon. Shall we continue another time? Whenever you like. Ezio. Tarek has been selling guns to a local miser, Manuel Paleo Logos. Paleo Logos? That is a sad sound. The last Byzantine emperor was Constantine Paleologos. If his heir is arming a militia of some kind, this conflict will escalate. Tarek knows where the rifles are headed. If I find him first, I can follow the weapons straight to the Byzantines. He will be with his janissaries in their barracks. So if you want to get close, you will have to be one yourself. Not a problem. Guzel. Get the information you need, then kill him. Are you sure? You told me Tarek and your father were close friends, Suleiman. This is true, but such naked treason against my grandfather deserves death. In Daisy. Suleiman's investigation. You collude with the Sultan's enemies. What did you expect would come of such treachery? I blame myself. Not for treason, but hubris. I was preparing an ambush. Preparing to strike the Byzantine Templars where they felt safest. What proof do you have of this? Uh, see, here. This will lead you to the Byzantines in Cappadocia. Destroy them if you can. You have done well, Tarek. Forgive me. Protect my homeland, assassin. Allah, Ashkila. Redeem the honor we have lost in this fight. Tarek was not traitor, Suleiman. He too was tracking the Byzantines. What? So did you... I'm sorry. God forgive me. You should not have been so quick to judge. He was loyal to your grandfather to the end. And through his efforts, we have the means to save your city. Tarek... He should not have been so secretive. What a terrible way to do a good thing. The weapons were taken to Cappadocia. Can you get me there? Yes, of course. I will arrange a ship to take you. Suleiman! Suleiman! I have been set up and made to look a traitor. Do you remember Tarek, the Janissary? The man you quarreled with? He has been murdered. It is no secret that he and I were at odds. Now the Genesaris will accuse me of this crime. This is terrible news, uncle. When word gets back to my father, he will banish me from the city. Ah, forgive me, nephew. I was not aware that you had a guest. This is Marcello, one of my European advisors in Cafe. Buonasera. Marcello. My nephew and I have a private matter to discuss. As I said, there will be a ship waiting for you when you wish to leave. Grazie, mio principe. We will track down the perpetrator of this crime, uncle. Have patience. Enjoying the poem?
Who were these men he condemned to hell? Political opponents. Men who wronged him. Alighieri's quill cuts deeply, no? See, si. It is a subtle way to seek revenge. Ezio. I plan to make a trip to Andrianopoli in a few weeks, to visit a new printing press there. That should be fun. It is a five or six day ride from here. And I will need an escort. Prego. Oh, I'm sorry. You are a busy man. Sofia, I would love to accompany you, but my time is running short. That is true for all of us. Well, I can try to solve this last code now, but I need to run an errand before sundown. Can you wait a day? What do you need? It is silly, but a bouquet of fresh flowers. White tulips, specifically. I can get you the flowers. That's un problema. Are you sure? It will be a nice change of pace. Bene. Meet me in the park east of Aya Sofia, and we will trade. Flowers for information. What is this? A gift. Sit. Che belli, grazie. I wanted to thank you for letting me play a small role in your adventure. A small role is enough for this adventure, believe me. <laughs> you are a mystery, Ezio Auditore. Mi dispiace. I do not mean to be. It is fine. È affascinante. Sembra squisito. Why, thank you. Any luck with the final code? Ah, the code, see. Si. I solved it many hours ago. You will get it soon enough. They say he screams in his sleep, calling out for his father. A boss? What a miserable man. It is not our place to judge. It certainly is. If our master has gone mad, I would like to know. Shh. Good evening. Water. Of course. Sit. Many thanks. What brings you here, old man? Pity, Abbas. Do not mock him. He has lived as an orphan for most of his life, shaped by his family's legacy. He is desperate for power, because he is powerless. He is our mentor, and unlike Al Mualim or Al Tahir, he never betrayed us. Nonsense. Al Tahir was no traitor. He was driven out, unjustly. Ugh. Is it? Is it you? I heard the rumors, but I did not believe them. I wonder if I might speak to Abbas myself. It's been a long time. Impossible. Abbas uses rogue Fedayin to keep us from the castle. Fewer than half the fighters here are true assassins. So, where do I begin? With us. Kill him! Kill him now! What are you waiting for? You fools! He has bewitched you! Tell your men to stand down! No! I am defending Masha! Would you not do the same? You corrupted everything we stand for and lost everything we gained. All of it sacrificed on the altar of your own spite. And you! You have wasted your life, staring into that apple, dreaming of your own glory. That is true, Abbas. 
I learned many things from the Apple. Of life and death. Of the past and the future. Let me show you. I can never forgive you, Altair. The lies you told about my family. My father. The humiliation I suffered. They were not lies, Abbas. I was ten years old when your father came to see me. He was in tears. Begging to be forgiven for betraying my family. Then he cut his own throat. I watched his life ebb away at my feet. I will never forget that image. No! But he was not a coward, Abbas. He reclaimed his honor. I hope there is another life after this one. Then... I will see him. And know the truth of his final days. And when it is your time... We will find you. And then... There will be... No doubts. An old man, and still he fought to hold our brotherhood together. I would have called him stubborn in my youth, but now I can only admire his courage. The assassins were his life, from beginning to end. He had no other. Do you regret anything, Desmond? Like what? Running away? Leaving your parents behind, finding a shit job, and pretending to be productive? What's it like spending your whole life avoiding hard decisions? Come on. Sure, you're an assassin, but it wasn't your choice. Do you have a point? I want to know if you regret anything. Sure. I wish I'd been more patient with my parents. I wish I'd listened. And Lucy. Maybe things could have been different if I'd... I'm not sure. Thank you. For what? For making sense. I have left Constantinople and set sail for the interior of Anatolia. To a region called Cappadocia, where Manuel is training his soldiers. If I am lucky, I will not be alone, for there may be Ottoman spies in the area waiting to strike. But, as ever, I put stock only in myself, and hold the memory of dear Sophia close to my heart. Claudia, you would laugh to hear the racing thoughts of your brother now. I have come to admire Sophia with more affection than I thought possible. After the death of Christina, something withered in me. But that feeling, that capacity for love, has returned. I adore Sophia, but dare not drag her into this life of mine. Not without fear of hurting her, or driving her away. of an army here, and no signs of Tarek's men. Not so close, Adi Herif. Easy now. Tarek sent me. Only you? Why not more? I am enough. Where are your men? Captured by Byzantines over a week ago. I was just to look like a slave and managed to escape. But the others? Are you a capable fighter? I like to think so. Well, when you are certain, come find me. How soon before my soldiers are trained to use those guns? A few weeks at most. 
Janissary is ruined all I have betrayed them by now. But do they have the resources for retribution? Doubtful. The Sultan's battle with Selim commands most of their attention. <laughs> ah! What the hell is that spell? Apologies, Manuel. Some of these Ottoman prisoners are so... fragile. <laughs> Shakuru, try to moderate your anger. I know the Sultan humiliated your people, but there is no need to spit on men who are beneath us. Mm. You, take the woman from the prison and bring her to the chapel. Shakuru, I don't have the key. Find it! Who has the key? You? I think Nicholas has it. He's on leave. You took your time. You are welcome. Amman Allah. What is that? Not everyone was taken prisoner. Poor men. Allah city could toss him. That Turkman renegade did this. Shaku. I'll kill him! Wait. You take advantage of a poor and displaced people, using us to further your own vain quest. But we fight for dignity, assassin. We fight to restore peace to this troubled land. Templars are always quick to talk of peace, but very slow to concede power. Because power begets peace, Flaka. It cannot happen in reverse. These people would drown without a fell hand to lift them up and keep them in line. There he is. The monster I came to kill. I should have been Constantine's successor. He had so many plans. Your dream dies with you, Manuel. Your empire is gone. Ah. But I am not the only one with this vision, assassin. The dream of our order is universal. Ottoman, Byzantine. These are only labels. Costumes and facades. Beneath these trappings. All Templars are part of the same family. Enough prattling. I am here for the Masyaf key. Then take it. Take it. And seek your fortune. See if you get within 100 leagues of that library before one of us finishes you off. Poor Manuel, last of the Palaerlogi. I should not have put him in charge of our Masyaf expedition. He was an arrogant man, impossible to keep in line. You disappoint me, Ahmed. Why the Templars? Because I am tired of all of these pointless blood feuds that pit father against son, brother against brother. To achieve true peace, mankind must think and move as one body, with one master mind. The secrets in the Grand Temple will give us just that, and Altair will lead us there. Delusions! Altair's secrets are not for you. I am not interested in arguing, Ezio. I am here for the Masyaf keys. Keys? Are there more than this one? So I have heard. Perhaps I should ask someone who knows better. Sofia Sarto. Is that her name? She knows nothing. Leave her be. We shall see. I will kill you if you touch her. I know you'll try. Nicola Polo. Our time together was brief, I know. But I have faith this Codex will answer the many questions you have yet to ask. Altair, this gift is... invaluable. 
Grazie. So, where will you go next? Back to Constantinopoli for a time. We will establish a guild there before returning to Venezia. Your son Marco will be eager to hear his father's wild stories. Uh, he is a little young for such tales, but one day soon, see? Father, a vanguard of Mongols has broken through. The village is overrun. Nicolo, your cargo and provisions are waiting for you by the village gates. We will escort you there. Thank you, Mentor. Ready the catapults and watch for my signal. Stay close. Father, are you hurt? Uh, give me a moment. <clears throat> Ah, the end of an era. When I was very young, I was foolish enough to believe that our creed would bring an end to all these conflicts. If only I possessed the humility to say to myself, I have seen enough for one life. I have done my part. Then again, there is no greater glory than fighting to find the truth. We are ready. A last favor, Nicolo. Take these with you and guard them well. Hide them if you must. Artifacts? Of a kind. They are keys. Each one imbued with a message. A message? For whom? I wish I knew. Forgive the haste of my handwriting, Claudia. Much has transpired, and little of it good. I am on a ship bound for Constantinopoli, in pursuit of a man whose treachery has eluded me until now. Prince Ahmed, Suleiman's uncle, is the man leading Templars here. He is the mastermind behind their Masyaf expedition, and he will stop at nothing to retrieve the keys, all of which are now in assassin hands. So what holds me back? Why do I not take the keys to Masyaf myself and be done with these fools? Because I have been careless. Because the Templars know about Sophia and they are looking for her. Oh, Claudia, if anything should happen to her, I could not live with myself. I have dragged her into a war she knows nothing about. And it will be my burden to bear if she comes to any harm. Citizens of the Empire and travelers from foreign lands take heed. By order of the Janissaries, new restrictions apply to all who travel to and from the city. Note that a reward of 10,000 Akche will be given without question to anyone who brings in information that leads to the immediate arrest of the Suikasche, Ezio Auditore. Brothers, sisters, a whole city rises against us, while Yusuf's murderer waits and watches from the arsenal, laughing. Fight with me, and show him what it means to cross the assassins. Mentor? Now should be a time for remembrance and mourning, I know. But our enemies do not permit us that luxury. Yusuf thought highly of you, assassin. And I find no reason to second-guess this judgment. Do you have it in your heart to lead these men and women and to maintain the dignity of our order as Yusuf did with such passion? It would be an honor. Bene, I am glad. Our enemy is close. Take positions around the tower, and wait for my command. Where is she? <laughs> Such fury. Where is she? If you think you are in a position to negotiate, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> 
and be done with it. I am sorry it had to come to this. Two men who should be friends, quarreling over the keys to a library. We both strive for the same end, Ezio. Only our methods differ. Do you not see that? Peace, stability, a world where men live without fear. People desire the truth, yes. But even when they have it, they refuse to look. How do we fight this kind of ignorance? Liberty can be messy, Ahmed. But it is priceless. Of course. And when things fall apart, and the lights of civilization dim, Ezio Auditore can stand above the darkness and say proudly, I stayed true to my creed. I will open that library, and I will find the Grand Temple. And with the power that is hidden there, I will destroy the superstitions that keep men divided. Not in this life, Ahmed. Bring the seals to Galata Tower when you are ready. Do this, and Sophia will be spared. My brother's army will be here soon, Ezio. After that, everything changes. How long have you been here? Long enough? I had Ahmed Ted as soon as he returned. But I never expected to hear... all this. And what do you think? He is a sincere man. But this Templar fantasy of his is dangerous. It flies in the face of reality. The world is a tapestry of many colors and patterns. A just leader would celebrate this, not seek to unravel it. He fears the disorder that comes from difference. That is why we make laws to live by. A kanun that applies to all in equal measure. Shastadem! Stand back! Hold, soldier! This man is not our enemy. What a challenge it would be to have a son like you. You are not dead yet, old friend. Ezio, spare my uncle if you can. Would your father? No. Where is she? I admire you, Ezio, but your bloodlust makes it hard to call you a friend. Bloodlust? A strange insult from the man who ordered an attack on his own nephew. He was to be kidnapped, Ezio, not killed. I see. Kidnapped by the Byzantines, so that his uncle could rescue him and be heralded a hero. More or less. Now, the keys. First. The girl. <laughs> She's all yours. Sophia! Tell your men to back off. She's all yours. I did not mean to drag you into this. I'm sorry. And you are not responsible for the actions of other men. All this will be over soon, but I need to recover what they have taken. I do not understand what is happening, Ezio. Who are these men? Run! Sophia! Look out! Ezio! 
Now it's you. How does this end? I am wondering that myself. Oh! Soldiers! Selim is not your master! You serve the Sultan! You carry out his command alone! Where is he? Where is the Sultan? He stands before you, brother. Father made his choice. Tell him! Stop! Please! So, you are the assassin. Ezio Auditore. I am Selim, Suleiman's father. He speaks quite highly of you. He is a remarkable boy with a magnificent mind. Were it not for his endorsement, I would have you killed where you stand. Leave this place. Do not return. <laughs> you did the right thing, Ezio. This is not your fight. But where does one end, and the next begin? Wait, look! This is crazy! What's wrong? I'm not sure, but Desmond's brain is lighting up like a string of firecrackers! Here it comes. What is that? What's going on? This is the end, Desmond. Scheduled for deletion. What are you doing? What is a man but the sum of his memories? We are the stories we live. The tales we tell ourselves. Don't do this. I'm saving you, idiot. Go! No! I write these lines with a steady hand and a light heart. We are in Acre now, Sophia and I, with the five Masyaf keys in our possession and all the time in the world. Sophia is a seasoned traveler, and a fine companion to have so far from home. Tomorrow we will make our way to Masyaf, and once there, into Altair's library, to fulfill our father's forgotten dream. Forgive the shortness of this letter, dear sister, for it is late, and we are tired. Perhaps, with luck, the next words you hear from me will be in person. Con affetto, Ezio. No books. No wisdom. Just you, fratello mio. Requiescat in pace, Altair. to my books. Yes, 
Some we sent with the Polos. The rest will go with me to Alexandria. Good. Very good. Father, I do not understand. Why did you build a library if you did not intend to keep your books? You should go. When the Mongols return, Masyaf must be empty. I see. This is not a library at all. It is a vault. It must stay hidden, Darim. Far from eager hands. At least until it has passed on the secret it contains. What secret? Go, son. Go be with your family. And live well. All that is good in me began with you, father. Another artifact. No. You will stay here. I have seen enough for one life. Desmond? He's talking to me? I heard your name once before, Desmond. A long time ago. And now it lingers in my mind. An image from an old dream. I do not know where you are, or by what means you can hear me, but I know you are listening. I have lived my life as best I could. Not knowing its purpose, but drawn forward like a moth to a distant moon. And here at last, I discover a strange truth. That I am only a conduit for a message that eludes my understanding. Who are we, who have been so blessed to share our stories like this? To speak across centuries? Maybe you will answer all the questions I have asked. Maybe you will be the one to make all this suffering worth something in the end. Now, listen. Save the world. 
We built vaults within which to work, each dedicated to a different method of salvation. They were placed underground to avoid the war which raged above, and also as a precaution should we fail in our efforts. Each vault's knowledge was transmitted to a single place. It was our duty, mine, Minerva's, and Juno's, to sort and sample all that was collected. We chose those solutions which held the most promise and devoted ourselves to testing their merits. Six we tried in succession, each more encouraging than the last, but none worked. And then the world ended. Earth shook for days, the fires burned for weeks, and when the ash had settled, less than 10,000 of your kind still lived, and far fewer of ours. But we carried on, together, to rebuild, to renew. Listen, you must go there, to the place where we labor, labored and lost. Take my words. Pass them from your head into your hands. That is how you will open the way. But be warned, much still remains in flux, and I do not know how things will end, either in my time or yours. Wait, look, his vitals are stabilizing. Something's happening. He's... he's moving! Desmond, can you hear me? Son? I know what we need to do. 